and in all the diamond variations.
Mississippi River. Back to the time when Steamboat was in its glory. We hope you enjoy Steamboat. Uncle Jed, Uncle Jed, mind if we come fishing with you? Yeah, Uncle Jed, and maybe you can tell us about the days when you were a steamboat pilot. Okay, children, but I want you to sit back and really use your imagination. Because if you do, I'll take you on a journey down the mighty Mississippi to the days when Steamboat was in its glory. How are you going to do that, Uncle Jed? It's simple, child. Just look out on that river and tell me what you see. All I see is bottom muddy water. Water, water, more water. Can't you see that paddle wheeler puffing and straining to go up the river? Don't you hear her steam whistle telling that she's going to stop at the landing? We're looking everywhere. We still can't see a thing. There she is, children. She's a big steamer with fancy woodwork and loads of shiny glass windows. Can't you see her? She's all decked out with fireworks on the 4th of July. Yeah. 
Maybe you should read this book to learn how to drive a steamboat. How to steer a steamboat. Did you always have a thing of lighting a lantern around here? We don't need a lantern. We don't need a That's enough John and Dad with you. We're just as fun. We don't have to leave until we get it. What in the world's going on? I haven't seen such yellow bell and chicken liver thumps at the tadpoles in all my poor days. Why don't you just grow up? How do you expect your body to make a living on this river with all this blood and stuff going on? Why the river's big enough for all? We all just learn to help each other and work together. Life will sure be a lot easier around here. Gather around, everybody, and hear me out.
But when it's calm, it's like a sleeping dog on a hot summer day. Ah, uh, I remember hot summer days. When I was your age, I spent hot summer afternoons rafting on the river.
said, when you worked on the river, there sure were some good times. Yeah, but weren't there some hard times too? Those roustabouts worked hard loaded and unloaded steamboat cargo. My grandma says the roustabouts were the first ones to bring music to the steamboat. Yep, most of their music was about the man. What man? Why on my river? Who else? My body may be worn out, but my spirit needs some time to say what's on its mind. There's nothing like a song to bring out what's going on inside of you.
bring an awesome audience. And let's have another round of applause for the fourth graders. I'm so proud.